check back in with Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Nelson now. And Jeremy, you're keeping a close eye on the tropics. Yeah, showing some signs of life here. This is the latest we've gone in the Atlantic hurricane season without a name storm since 2014. It's not named yet. But we think this will develop into Alberto as we go through about the next 24 hours or so. National Hurricane Center has now designated this potential tropical cyclone one. And there you can see the forecast track taking this into Mexico. Some of the heavier rains could be spreading into far south Texas over the next uh, about one to three days. Now, as we track the tropics, the next area of interest doesn't look like much right now. Way out here into the southwest Atlantic, uh, low pressure may develop and head towards the southeast coastline. It appears like it would stay weak. And at this point, maybe not even a tropical depression. We'll see how things play out, but that would be for later on this week at the top of the Harbor Town Lighthouse. Pretty good breeze going out there right now across the Calabogie Sound, and that has been an onshore wind today, keeping temperatures in check at our coastline. Definitely muggy out there, but 84 for Hilton Head and Tybee. Some of the cooling effects reaching us here in Savannah. 90 earlier back to 87 degrees and sprinkling some low 90s Vidalia Reedsville with middle to upper 80s in most of the low country. That tropical plume of moisture down in the southern Gulf towards the Yucatan starting to reach the lower Mississippi River Valley. Unfortunately, not much rain here across southeast Georgia and the low country. Our chances do go up a little bit as we go through this week. A breezy evening. The winds will start to ease after sunset and it will stay warm and muggy with temperatures for the most part into the 80s. Here is future cast out the door tomorrow morning. We start dry. Rain chance on Tuesday is very low area wide at 10%. So do not anticipate seeing rain. If you get caught under a rain shower, could last five, maybe 10 minutes enough to get the pavement wet. That's about it for rain on Tuesday. Wednesday's chance definitely a little bit better, starting to get a little more moisture in the area. These are for the most part isolated to spotty showers across southeast Georgia and the low country. And those showers will start to work their way inland late afternoon and evening, generally dry on Wednesday. Future temperatures, it's warm, it's muggy to start things off on Tuesday. Closer to 70 degrees if you're well inland tomorrow afternoon. Before that onshore breeze really kicks in, we'll top out around 88 degrees. Already down a degree or so at the coastline, you'll see highs there around 86 degrees. And mid to upper 80s for the most part well inland. Wednesday's forecast, we are looking at that warm start, plenty muggy in the morning, and then during the afternoon, daytime highs mid to potentially upper 80s across the area. A lot of onshore winds this week. That will mean a high rip current risk for tomorrow. Tybee Island all the way down to the Golden Isles, St. Simons, and Juckle Islands. Be aware of that if you're making a beach day of it. 10-day numbers, Savannah inland locations, lots of upper 80s here the next few days. If any of that tropical moisture works in our direction, probably later in the week may boost rain chances slightly for the weekend as daytime highs return to the low to mid 90s. Average high is 90 degrees, so very seasonal temperatures as we go through the next 10 days. I know we really need some rain across our area. The chances are there, but these are real isolated rain chances, maybe a spotty thunderstorm in the mix even for our coastal areas. Middle 80s give way to some upper 80s by the weekend. Rain chance up slightly, but certainly don't cancel or adjust any of your weekend plans just yet. Next week may be hitting 90 degrees with, uh, again, some lower end rain chances in the forecast. The morning staying warm and humid in the mid to upper 70s. You can track all 10 days of our forecast or get the tropical updates on the go. Just download the free WJCL 20.